Good morning, everybody. I don't know about you, but it's Monday in my house and we're looking forward to Thanksgiving. Always a great time with our family and uh, we've got some friends coming over. And uh, I hope you'll have a good week also, if you have the week off or whatever. This week, we're going to be in Luke chapter 10, one of the great chapters in all of the Bible and certainly in the Gospel of Luke. And today we look at what Jesus said about praying for people to go in the harvest field. You know, I don't think we think that's very important often. Uh, we know people ought to be reaching people and we hope people will reach out to people. But Jesus said, first and foremost, before I send you out, you need to pray about going into the harvest field. And so let me read this in Luke chapter 10 and the first couple of verses. After this, he appointed 70 and others and sent them two by two ahead to every city and place where he himself was going to come. And he was saying to them, the harvest is plentiful but the labors are few. Pray the Lord of the harvest, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. And then he sent them out. But everything begins with prayer and it begins with prayer of the harvest. There are several things that we need to uh, notice here. First of all, it's God's harvest. Only God can save somebody and only God uh, knows who's going to be saved and only God knows who's being convicted right now by the Holy Spirit and is willing to be saved. And so we need to pray about the harvest. We need to understand in faith that the harvest is great. Now, you know, we're living in tough times right now. And I think a lot of people believe nobody cares about the Lord and the church and whatever. That has nothing to do with what God's doing. It doesn't matter whether people come to church or not. It doesn't matter whether we think they're, they're under conviction or not or living right or not. What matters is what the Holy Spirit's doing. And Jesus said, he's in the world today and he's convicting people. And he's convicting the people that are receptive to the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what we must pray for. Pray for that harvest. Pray for our eyes to be open so that we can see it. That's priority. It was priority in Jesus's life. And if it's not in ours and our church's life, then we don't have any priorities. And then he says, pray the Lord that he would send forth laborers into harvest. Start with yourself. Say, Lord, send me, use me, send me into that harvest, prepare me. Let me have the opportunity to bring people to Christ into a relationship with you. And I think he will answer that. And then we pray for others to go into the harvest. Pray for our church that God would send us and give us opportunities to lead people to Christ and bring them to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and to be reconciled with the Father. The laborers, it's his harvest, but we can't often see it. But can we believe it? Does it matter to us? It's his harvest. Let's go. And let's remember that it's all about him and what he wants done. It's not what we can see or not see, what we can think or not think. It's all about him. Heavenly Father, send us into the harvest that we might lead people to Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.